I saw him first. The post office. I saw him first in the post office. His face was a blurry scan on a grainy piece of paper. It said wanted for, but I can't remember what he was wanted for, but I know I wanted him. I wanted him before it was even him. I, I knew I wanted. It was like getting lost in a film loop. Maybe I've just seen one too many late night black and white film noirs like Strangers on a Train, Nightmare Alley, The Naked City, Gun Crazy, Double Indemnity, The Fugitive Cop. Vengeance is mine. Vengeance is mine. It was an ideal reflection of who he thought I was mirrored in the drowning pool of my own eyes. Beautiful eyes, like my own beautiful eyes, which lie. As I drain them of everything except heat and desire, it was like a hungry orphan seeking relief in my cruel smile. My lips were twisted around a man who he thought was him, but was merely a projection of me, my need, my greed, my... Need my greed. I remember. I remember when. I remember. Uh, you know, I remember when. There was a time I remember when he was reinventing himself again and again, picking up the derelict pieces of shattered dreams, making peace with the empty promises and endless threats before his violence and his malevolence was a magnetic firestorm, a spontaneous combustion of bloodlust and mistrust like a punch trunk bruiser shadow boxing in the dark punching shadows and raping ghosts. He was hell-bent on murdering that invisible enemy, that killer inside of him that wanted inside of me who just wanted out because it was never, in, it's never fucking enough. It's never fucking enough until it's too fucking much. And the blood in my head becomes the blood on my hands and my hands were around his neck and his neck was broken in three different fucking plates. And the more... And the more I think I know, the less I seem to comprehend. And he never knew me, didn't know me. You don't fucking know me. You think you fucking know me? You can't fucking know me. I can't let you fucking know me. You think you want to know me? Know your fucking self first. Maybe then you can know me. I couldn't let him because the killer inside of me has a mind of her fucking own. And maybe I've just seen one too many late night black and white film noirs like Strangers on a Train, The Fugitive Kind, Rope, Nightmare Alley, Vengeance. Is mine. Vengeance is mine. He said, he said, he said, he said, I am the oxygen. He said, I am the oxygen that he breathes in. He said, I am the oxygen that he breathes. He said, I was like a dirty white honeysuckle stained with night's runoff. He said, I was like the night running. He said, I was like the night running off. Dawn slowly blisters through the night sky, a slice of dirty brown shredding a crack in the horizon. The sickly green-gray pus of another nuclear day transmits life, death raised to my brain, which accelerates my pulse and shoots through my bloodstream like a dirty volt of static electricity, which bounces off the, which bounces off the ceiling, make, making everything look hollow. Life-size ghosted images of what Real once was, I'm no longer sure I know. I jolt upright like a reanimated autopsy whose motor functions fail, but after hours of neglect suddenly ferment and register shock waves. I am sleeping with his memory. I'm sleeping with his if I roll my eyes far enough back in my head, letting just a sliver of white like a cracked crescent moon kiss 
the morning sun somewhere under my veiny eyes I will zero in on him and like a cheap five and dime gypsy fortune teller I will zero in on his last thought and it will scare the living fucking shit out of me he was like a sick shark he was like a sick shark isolated in a prison of pain his loneliness tasted of sand and sewer drains he smelt of day old beer and broken promises of black eyes and bruised ribs he had bloody rags wrapped around his temple soaking up the fallout from the body he said the body he said the body is just an experimental canvas the body it's just an experimental canvas. The body is just a blood bank. It's just a punching blag. It's just a carving board. It's a sack of pus and fucking cum. Yeah, he was a sack of pus and fucking cum. Trampled under by his own big black boots. Stormtroopers kicking the shit out of the enemy within waging a counteroffensive which would guarantee mutually assured destruction not only against him, not only against me, but aimed directly at the shell, shocked and battle fatigued little boy who screamed for ceasefire in the bunker and wanted his mommy to kamikaze into the demilitarized zone, that uncharted territory where a part of him still lived, that part that cowered in the far corners late at night, scared of shadows and holy ghosts. And oh, I fucking wanted to love him. I wanted to love him. I wanted to pretend that I loved him. He said, <laughs> yeah. I was the oxygen that he breathed in. I was the oxygen that he breathed in. I was like a dirty, sweet honeysuckle stained with night's runoff. He said, I was like the night. I'm always fucking running off in the night. wanted to give him life. Yeah. A big, fat, vibrant dose of everything he had been denied. I wanted to prove by example how the cancer of birth and the dis-ease of youth could be overcome and turned around and made to work. I wanted to spare him a decade of his own self-abuse because I never fucking spared myself anything and I wasn't concerned about sparing anybody else either until I met him. In some perverse way, he held my hard-fought, self-taught, self-preservation against me. Now what choice did I fucking have? What choice did I fucking have? Since the age of six, every night he's been an insomniac theater of wretched possibility. Every shadow, a murder with my name written on it. Every man, a potential maniac with my blood on their tongue. Every breath tainted with a genetic toxicity. An encyclopedia of pain that assures an early death preceded by, oh, please don't hold your fucking breath. Fear is a magnet I chose to reverse because if I'm going to be pulverized by possibility, I want to be choking on fucking life, not scared to fucking live it.
some days. Some days I just want to be the laziest bitch in the whore house. Legs spread wide, lucky strike dangling from my cock stained scarlet lips. Eyes on the alarm clock, whose somnambulant throb reminds me with every passing pulsation that my funeral procession will be a century long samba littered with the beautiful corpses of hundreds of dead soldiers who had come to soil my battlefield, banging into me with their heavy artillery, pumping into me like bullets, firing at point blank range. Oh! Oh! Anointed with the hot molten lead which would mingle with the blood and come my eyes heavy with morphine, cocaine, MDMA or madness. Mine swill drunk on the uncountable contaminates of steady diet I have feasted on for years as a tribute to my own survival of the sickest. Some days. Yeah. Motherfuckers better know. <laughs> some days, some nights, some days, some nights, some decades are meant to be fucking wasted, right? How much of your fucking time have you fucking... I saw the best minds of my generation scoring dime bags of dope on Avenue D, passing out and puking, waking up. their genius, inseparable from their fucking disease. And every day and every night, they said the same fucking thing. Some days... Some nights, some decades are meant to be wasted. I haven't wasted a minute of my fucking life. bitch on stage, so that dog better shut up and shoot it. I'm still searching for the drug. I'll just do it by osmosis. I'm still searching. It takes a master alchemist. It takes a master alchemist. It takes an encyclopedantic understanding of psychotropics. It takes sleight of hand to row mirrors. I'm still, must be between my fucking legs, searching for the draw. I'm still searching for fucking ecstasy. I'm not talking about a weekend motherfucking binge. I'm still ecstasy. Ecstasy slips through my fingers far too fucking often. You know, my daily existence is a battlecade of extreme fluctuations where chaos clobbers apathy, which beats the shit out of depression, which slams into irritability, which crashes into anger, and always motherfucking eclipses. I'm still searching for the real fucking ecstasy. You know what I mean? I'm still searching... It takes a master alchemist. It takes a ma it takes a ritual of voodoo, voodoo, santaria, brujaria. Yeah. Oh, that's what I'm fucking into. I'm still, I'm still fucking searching for somebody who fucking gets me, who somebody knows and wants the real fuck. Still searching for somebody who knows what they fucking want and knows how to fucking get it. Ecstasy. Oh, trust me on that, baby. It's right there at my fingers. <laughs>
house. Shredded in that haunted no man's land on the corner of Sunset and Occidental. The ghost of all those who could have been, should have been, leave a Vaseline smeared lipstick smudge on the rearview mirror's busted glass. I'm lonely as one left shoe tossed out the window of the Starlight Motel. There is no drug potent, there is no drug potent enough to kill off that vision of him, that soured, honeyed tumbleweed of hair which smells of dirty sex and cigarettes. His kiss is burned into my lips like a faded hologram slightly out of focus. I keep reaching for his mouth, forgetting about how the night bled out, turning a beautiful angel into a beautiful corpse. He's just a mirage. Oh, he's just a mirage. He's crushing me. I'm lingering in and out of consciousness. The dream drugs must be working. Uh, he slowly rises like a desert rat. He's crawling on all fours. He's mustering the strength of dead men every... He brushes up against me. He slinks into me. He sinks into me. He's in my skin. I move my lips in protest, but my breath has turned to dust. My bones are hollow husks. I have a soft spot for him. I have a soft... Kisses on the razor's edge. Kisses on the razor. Dry whiskers, lips as thin as paper cuts. He's mouthing instructions, which I will fight with all my will. He's telling me to pick up the snub nose. Pick up the snub nose. Small caliber. Yeah. Cool evening breeze. Kisses dirty feet. My tongue is swollen, preventing argument against his hip. Not a pull. He pulls at me. This is... His domain, this is his domain, caretaker to the endless obsidian night, that grave digger of crushed dreams, that mortician's reanimator of broken hearts. He's just a mirage. He's just a mirage. He's crushing me. Oh. Not necessary. <laughs> All creation bears the molecular memory of a terrible explosion of white light and white heat. Violence was the first act of creation, the big fucking bang. Chaos is the law of nature. It's the score upon which reality is written. The universe it's just geometry stricken with epilepsy. And I am just a convulsionary suffering from episodic fits of frenzy. I know that whoever creates demands... Oh my God, I want to break this lamp. I won't destroy a Kia lamp. Whoever creates... <laughs> plus, I need it. I might take it home with me, Hunter. I might take you home with me. And your girlfriend. Whoever creates demands destruction. 
And really, if I wanted to destroy something, it would take two of you to make me happy. <laughs> to some of us, violence is as natural as fucking breathing. I'm only talking about myself, as usual. <laughs> Conceived in a passionate act of animal violence, our first cry is slapped out of us. We're born in blood. We are battered into breathing. Chaos is the law of nature, and I admit it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the American way of life has turned me into a death-defying murder junkie. I'm high. I wish I was. I'm drunk on disasters, calamities, casualties, high on bombs, bursting in the air, rifles ricocheting off the bellies of pregnant women. That's what you get for being fucking pregnant. Crippled children poisoned on a school bus, shopping mall murders, crumbling cities polluted beyond repair, craters of despair in the eyes of men, women, and children, their brains rotted by the cathode glare of the television, the internet, the video games, which only mimic a world gone wild. Oh! Oh, baby, baby, it's, it's a wild world. It's a wild world. Oh, baby. Now, yeah, Cat Stevens and Nick Cave, is there much of a fucking difference now? <laughs> oh, baby, baby, it's a, it's a wild world. It's a wild. The whole world's going fucking wild, man. I love wilding. <laughs> they turn the whole world into a ghetto. You live in it now, paying $3,000 a month, you fucking suckers. <laughs> <laughs> They turn the whole world into a ghetto, a whorehouse, an orphanage, a refugee camp, a sweatshop, a slaughterhouse, a bomb factory, a landmine, a butcher shop, a shooting gallery, an insane asylum, a gas chamber, a toxic fucking dump where all the killers are heroes. All my heroes are killers. All my fucking heroes are killers. And I myself and filled with a murderous fucking rage. It's like a battle of bitches wage and a battle under my fucking skin. I have become the rapist. Oh, trust me on that, Blondie. <laughs> I have become the rapist whose impotence at annihilating the real killers has manifested into violence against myself and anybody else who gets in my fucking way. And if you think I'm fucking hostile, you got no fucking idea how hostile I really fucking am. Yeah, I'm, I'm just passionate. I'm a passion killer. I'm riddled with criminal urges. I'm a sadist incarcerated in her own fucking torture chamber. I'm in one minute your flesh and bones. The next minute your, your piles of flesh and fucking bones. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Dexterella. <laughs> Maybe I've just gotten inside the enemy's head. I've gotten inside the enemy's head. I've gotten inside the enemy's head. He's sleeping in my fucking bed. I've got... My war, oh, my war, my war. What makes you think you're one of them? Who made, you're not my fucking friends. My war <laughs> has always been the battle of sex as an animal act. One woman against every fucking man. You know what? You want to fight or you want to fuck. Either way, you're going to get hurt, bitch. Either way, the more they kill, the more I fuck. My womb, a tomb, a sacrificial cunt. Yeah. <laughs> you're either with me. I doubt it. Or you're against me. I don't fucking care. <laughs> you want to fight or you want to fuck? Either way, you're going to get fucking hurt. Because I know. Excuse me. I know that I could become the next target at any... I don't make enough money. I could become the next target at any minute. I mean, and I plan on dying with a smile on my face, laughing. Oh yeah, and like, smoking a fat fucking joint, I might go back to that bullshit. Yeah, blowing a dozen lines of cocaine, dripping on MDMA, fucking my brains out. Yeah, bring me bring me six Iraqi war veterans, preferably amputees, because somebody's gotta take care of the fucking soldiers. America isn't. Bring me your fucking amputees. Oh yeah, because... Welcome to my church. Yeah. Welcome. There's only one fucking commandment. Rebellion against false virtue. Well, rebellion against false virtue. All I want is ecstasy at the mouth of the apocalypse. Yeah. Pleasure at the mouth of the volcano. Ecstasy. And I fucking found it.
things.